And this is honestly one of the cleanest setups I have ever worked on since it's just so simple. And speaking of simplicity, we will be designing this setup around exactly that. And it's going to be thanks to Apex Desk who sent over their motorized standing desk for review and I finally managed to fill it with tons of productivity and aesthetically pleasing stuff to really complete this experience. So with that said, introducing the best standing desk PC setup powered by Apex Desk. Now let's go ahead and dive right now. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Instagram and a link to the text on the Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details to that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. And as per usual, let's go ahead and start off with the desk itself. And this is going to be from Apex Desk Motorized Standing Desk, and designed for better comfort and for the health of your own back. Now the benefits of using a standing desk are pretty much that it's going to help greatly like when it comes to keeping your back straight since you're standing and because of people's natural stance, this is done all on its own essentially. And it's actually pretty comfortable to do so, even though it's not at all what I was expecting. I actually used to be a pretty big detractor to be completely honest, but that was before I went ahead and tried it myself. Like, I never thought that using a standing desk would be comfortable until I actually tried it, and that changed my perspective on that very soon after. And ever since then, I'm the studio, I'm working on this desk with my equipment on it, and I don't feel nearly as tired as I did back when I would sit for just about everything that I needed to do, like when it came to editing and things of the like. But with the health benefits aside, this desk is built incredibly well. It's got its metal legs and the surface itself is just built really nicely and it looks quite good if I'm completely honest. But you do have a lot of like different texture options to choose from. I wanted this wood, wood white kind of look to it, or white wood I would say, because it just happens to look quite nice on camera. And you get some cable management holes for it that allows for pretty good cable management for all of your equipment with keeping your desk as clean as possible. And you will also find some options for adjusting the motorized desk. Now you do have to build this yourself, but the desk is insanely easy to build, as you might be able to see in the B-roll that I'm showing off right here. So you have your presets over here that you can for different positions or different heights. And in fact, you actually have four to choose from. And you even have a meter here that shows you exactly how tall the desk currently is, which is very nice and to have around. But you will also have the arrows for adjusting the height manually yourself, which is usually what I like to do since I constantly change my mind about it. And this is just incredibly convenient and it's about everything that I can ask for. And I can also get pretty tall at around five feet tall-ish, like maybe just a little bit less. And that's very impressive as well. But you can reduce it to like much lower. The amount of customization is really great here. And the build is also fantastic and the health benefits along and with the amount of space on this desk are just pretty unbeatable. So thanks a lot to Apex Desk for sending this over for, for review as it has saved my back a little bit. I guess I can say that you guys really had my back there. And then let's go ahead and talk about a couple of the accessories that I decided to put on here. And this other one was also a pretty big gift. And this one came from Divoom, and this is going to be their Divoom Ditto. And this is essentially going to be like a mini arcade machine that is absolutely fantastic. It's kind of got like that design of a CRT TV, and it is comprised pretty much entirely of just like pixel art. Everything that you're going to see on it is going to be with pretty big pixels right on screen. And it does give you that red look, but it's actually a lot more modernized than you would initially think. You can use it as a Bluetooth speaker if you want to, and it actually packs quite a bit of volume for something so small. And we're talking about a piece of tech that fits comfortably in my hand, and this thing is absolutely tiny, yet so nicely sized at the same time. And it does come with some controls for you to be able to maneuver around this little machine, of course, and it's got mechanical keys for doing exactly that, and this is where you would do all of your controlling and maneuvering and also playing your game if you would like. You also get an arcade style lever over here, which mostly acts as your OK button, I would say. And it also comes preloaded with a bunch of different games, which are really just simple, like mini games that you can play, like just about anywhere, which is just awesome. And I mostly keep it on my desk in case I'm waiting for like a render to finish. Pretty fantastic and a great way of just like killing time that also acts as a clock, which is just very convenient.
convenient. And most importantly, you can connect this to your phone so you can doodle your own like, pixel art in case you want to display any of your work, which is pretty awesome to say the least. Now, this is going to be battery powered and it's going to be charging over a USB-C port, but you can just keep it plugged in too. And it's even got a micro SD card slot. The options with this are totally limitless and I'm really excited about having this be part of my setup. So thanks a lot to the folks over at Daivoom for sending this wonderful gift over. And now let's move on to the rest of the stuff that I use with my setup. And now we're going to be moving a little bit more quickly through these. For this, to this day, I am still using my trusty Razer Blade 14 from 2015. This laptop is still a powerhouse that can run the DaVinci Resolve and many other productivity apps just fine. But I would recommend going with something maybe a little bit more modern, I would say. I just haven't felt like the need to upgrade my own laptop personally. Here you get an Intel Core i7 4790HQ, which is a quad-core CPU with 8 threads, 16 gigs of RAM, a GTX 970 for the GPU, and 256 gigs of SSD storage. So honestly, th this has been good enough for me, of course, for a laptop, for the kind of work that I end up doing on it. So I have had a totally fine time with it, and I don't plan on replacing it still anytime soon. And on next up is going to be a 24-inch 75Hz monitor from Scepter. Now, this is a pretty affordable monitor running at around 120 bucks. It is a pretty thin display with two HDMI inputs and a VGA input for displays and it's not really the best monitor ever, even at the price. I have found myself still staying pretty productive with it and it's totally fine especially considering that it does feature face on mounting. And this is exactly why I decided to go with a monitor mount since the included one is actually pretty terrible, only allowing for tilts and things of the like. And this one from Apex Desk, which was another gift, by the way, turn this little monitor into a much more usable and workable one without a doubt. This features an incredibly strong and spacious clamping system so you can attach it to your desk like just about any desk and so that you can get the maximum amount of real estate since usually having a monitor on your desk is kind of a waste of space in a way. This monitor stand solves exactly that issue and many many more. Now we've actually got height adjustment, more tilting capabilities, and full-on rotation as well. It all feels incredibly smooth and I love how tall I can actually make this setup through this one accessory. Like seriously, this is one that I will be hanging on to for a very long time to come. So thanks a lot to Apex Desk for hooking me up with this monitor stand. I think that a lot of you will also love it quite a bit. Now the Razer Blade 14 has already a built-in webcam onto it, uh, but it is very narrow in its field of view, and I usually do prefer a wider view in general. So I actually went with this 1080p webcam from Aki, and while the visual aren't really that great here since the exposure for instance is just overly done unless you use like something like Streamlabs in order to adjust it and things like that the field of view is still going to be pretty awesome and I can get a pretty good view of the entire studio right behind me as well and I can't exactly complain about that and honestly it is a pretty decent webcam as it's always needed when doing work remotely as well and my most of choice here is actually going to be a bit of an older one that many hold to very high regard and this is going to be the Logitech MX Master 2 too. This mouse has a great design, it's incredibly comfortable to use, and has a lot of customization features built right onto it. This is one of the best mice for productivity, designed to be pretty great for exactly that. And as a video editor, I find the shape and the extra buttons very useful for long work sessions. And this can be used wired and wirelessly if you want to, with one of the most notable drawbacks obviously here being that it uses a micro USB port instead of USB-C, I'm getting corrected with the MX Master 3. So so I would recommend getting the MX Master 3 of course instead, but the Master 2 has been an amazing mouse to say the least throughout my working day. And so for audio, I kind of wanted to talk about the microphone first, and I've actually been testing out this microphone for quite a bit, but I don't really have a full review on it just yet. So this is going to be the Avermedia AM310. This microphone is built very well, and with it being comprised, I would say, of a very hefty build, and it also comes with this very heavy weight stand in order to keep it sturdy. The mouse Mounting system allows for a lot of tilting capabilities too. Now this microphone has a metal volume knob. For the microphone gain, you can press it to mute your microphone and then do it again in order to unmute it. It's going to be a very satisfying to use knob. And on the back, you're going to get a headphone jack for real-time monitoring and to use it as the audio interface for your entire computer as well. 
I mostly use this for like video calls and things like that. And my headphones of choice are actually a pretty affordable pair, and this is going to be the Maono AU MH601 headphones. These are very cheap audio monitors, but they get the job done just fine. Uh, they're comfortable as they actually feature quite a bit of padding for the ears and on the headband too, although they do have quite a bit of clamping force, which some might actually find a little bit annoying after a while, but I personally don't mind it, since I do prefer that kind of sense of security now that I get from strong clamping. And it comes with a quarter inch jack on one side and a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other, since the cable is actually detachable, and it also comes with said coil cable that allows for both connections, has to just use whichever one you want or require. And this is going to be a pretty great pair for editing, and I very much enjoy it quite a bit. And now this orange mat on the desk is going to be a pretty large one from Toei. And it does go at around 32 by 16 inches, I would say. And this is a leather mat that is waterproof as a matter of fact. So it is pretty resistant towards spillings and things like that. So that is just going to be very useful. I got it because of the color pretty much and it just looks really nice on this desk. So that kind of explains why I decided to go in that direction versus other options. And lastly, we've actually got the set of lights here that look like Elgato key lights, but they certainly are not. And these are from Varwanio, which is a very strange and tough to pronounce name, but these are bicolor lights. You can actually change the color temperature on these. Th these are not RGB lights. However, they do get insanely bright and they actually come with this remote in order to adjust the lights manually. But you can control them also a little bit over the light switch attached to the cable as well. And these come with the desk clamps, which is going to be absolutely great here, and they're going to be very sturdy. I would buy these all over again if I had to, like just considering how useful they've been, and they only cost about $63 per light, so have fun. I know that's pretty much how I stay productive around my studio, and this is the equipment that I use when I'm working on this desk, plus some entertainment on the side, all thanks to Divoom's Ditto over here. I seriously love the thing, and then once more, a very massive thanks to Apex Desk for sending this desk over for review and for featuring it on this video. And if you're interested, I'm going to be linking you guys to everything, everything that's included in the setup, but for the laptop, since it is an older one, I'm going to be linking the most current Razer blade laptop that would be the most comparable substitute i would say for 2021 now with that said i do very much hope that you enjoyed this video as it took quite a quite a bit of work to do and i hope that you'll stick around for more just like it and if you're interested in anything featured in the setup then i'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to amazon in the description and if you end up using any of my links then i do get a small commission that does help with the channel quite a bit so i would appreciate that quite a bit and also i don't forget to use abanda as well if you're looking to finance any of these things especially uh, like the desk itself all of these things are going to be worthy of financing of course and if you just need like some very easy going financing Abanda is going to be the way to go as you do not need a credit card of your own so links to that down below and there's also going to be luster if you need help looking for sales it's going to be a great service to use for exactly that and many other things links to that down below and also i would like to extend a very special thanks to all of, all of my patrons especially to my tier three patrons so my tech summit conquerors over here We've got Omar and Saad. Thank you so much for all of your help over here. And thank you for supporting us to this extent. And now I would also like to thank the rest of our patrons coming right up. And this is super important. I would just like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, which are going to be listed right here on the screen. Again, a massive thanks to you all for supporting us to help us create the kind of content that we bring to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And thank you so much for supporting at the Tech Summit podcast as well. And just remember, Remember that if you would like to be a part of this community too and then do make sure to check out the links to our patreon where you don't only get bonus episodes of our podcast but you also get automatically entered into one of our monthly giveaways of a tech product that we have reviewed and that is of at least fifty dollars in value or higher so links to that down below and don't forget to follow me on the rest of my social media like my instagram my twitch and obviously there's going to be the patreon now this month we're going to be giving away a stream deck mini by the way like for the month of may and if you would like to win, then do make sure you have to pledge over there as well. Tier series and threes are automatically entered, so links to that down below. So with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.